Hi there, Joey from PowerhouseAffiliate.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about Google Ads keyword research tactics and how I find the best keywords for PPC campaigns. If you've been watching any of my other videos on Google Ads, you'll see that I've spent over $6 million on Google Ads as an affiliate marketer. And today I wanna to show you precisely how to find the best keywords with four tactics and the best tools to find the keywords that are going to convert for you on your Google Ads search campaigns or any other search ads that you're doing out there. So remember, this isn't about search engine optimization. This is about getting your ads at the top of the page for Google search results. So let's get into it now. We're gonna get into my computer and I'm gonna show you precisely how to find the best keywords. So let's do it now. Okay, so here we are inside my computer. As you can see, I've spent over $6 million on Google Ads. If you want more information on how I'm doing it, check out the link down in the description, the first link for the Google Ads 30-day challenge. This is a full course that I have shared with the public that you can check out down below. And you can also check out the playlist that will pop up here shortly on other videos that I've done on YouTube regarding Google search ads. Big traffic source for affiliates. A lot of affiliates think you can't run affiliate offers, but in fact, you certainly can. And I'm gonna show you some tactics here now on how to find keywords for your search ads campaigns. So a lot of people that watch my channel, um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now so that you get notified of all future videos that I make on the topic of affiliate marketing. But a lot of people that are members of my channel and subscribers, you know that I am running CPA affiliate offers mainly. So first of all, the first step obviously is finding an offer that you want to run on search ads and once you find your offer now it comes down to brainstorming ideas on keywords that you think people will be searching for when they want to perhaps purchase or become a lead for that cpa affiliate offer i'm just going to use an example today we're going to go through here's some offers inside max bounty this is a cpa affiliate network i use in a lot of videos as an example and you can see here there are many offers and you can sort them by basically any offers that allow search traffic and earnings per click is what I've sorted it by to see which offers are getting the highest earnings per click. And you'll see mostly nine times out of 10 on many of these networks, the offers that are related to health, wealth, and relationships are usually at the top of the list. And of course you can see that here. So you'll see here, number three, Noom weight loss. This is a branded um, product. It's a very popular one in the weight loss niche and we'll use this as an example you can see here on average it's earning about four dollars earnings per click on the network and it pays out twenty dollars per lead so if i was going to be promoting this offer then i'm going to show you some of the tools and strategies i'm going to use and how i would cluster my keywords when i'm first testing these offers on cpa affiliate networks so for example the first thing i'm going to do is look for competitors. So competitors is a really good strategy for finding keywords because when you target those keywords, they could be expensive. However, they are very um, hot keywords. And I describe what hot, warm, cold keywords are in the course below. But basically, you're going to be looking for keywords right now to test that are in the hot area. So basically, competitor keywords. And how do you find competitors of Noom weight loss. Well, there are a few ways to do this and we're going to be using AI. Yes, I know that's a hot topic in 2023 and we're gonna be talking about AI here and some of the tools that I use. So first steps, first things first, we're gonna go into search, uh, sorry, SEM Rush. This is a tool I use to find keywords and also I can also see my competitors' ads, all of what they're doing, their landing pages and everything else in the advertising research component of this tool over here. There is a link down below in the description for this. If you want a seven day free trial, go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash SEM rush and you'll get a seven day free trial. But anyway, let's go here and let's type in noom.com. And the first thing we're gonna do is get some information on what they're doing while they're advertising on PPC or Google search ads or Bing or Microsoft search ads, whatever it is. So you can see here are the keywords they are bidding on and these are the actual branded keywords. So this is another thing, competitors and branded keywords. These are the top two areas you can focus on when you're 
picking keywords. If the offer allows you to bid on branded keywords, then certainly do it. But you can see here in the CPA network, no brand bidding. So you're not allowed to bid on the keyword Noom. And that's very typical for many CPA affiliate offers. But if they do allow brand bidding, then I would highly suggest you test the brand itself and use buyer intent commercial keywords that we're gonna talk about here shortly in a minute. When I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. But first of all, we're gonna be looking for competitors. So coming down here, you can see all the keywords like I mentioned, but what you can also do is you can search for competitors. So what you'll do is now, once you have a list of the competitors, you can start seeing some of the brands that you could bid on. Nutrisystem, for example, Jenny Craig. These are keywords you can bid on and advertise Noom, okay? And they might be expensive, but you'll notice that the conversion rates on these are very high because these are people that already know what they're looking for. They want something to solve their problem with weight loss and so basically you would start a ad group specifically for competitors only. And you would have all of the list of competitors in that ad group and you would test that on its own. In some cases, I will even test competitors in a separate campaign completely, not in a separate ad group. And a lot of these things that I'm gonna talk about here would be a separate campaign. So that is the first step, taking this and finding all of the competitors. And you can see there are lists, there's 20 pages of competitors that you could use in terms of getting keywords for your campaign. Even use the dot coms and the name. So for example, you would have Nutrisystem as a keyword and Nutrisystem.com and that would be your strategy. And you can export this entire list from SEMrush. Okay, the next step, uh, number two, like I mentioned earlier, is branded keywords. If you are allowed to use branded keywords, simply come back to the positions tab here in SEMrush and select all of those keywords under Noom that they have for their own name. And Basically, you could have Noom, uh, Noom Diet, all of these, and this works for any type of niche. Now, I'm just using an example here, which is Noom. This would work for software. This would work for any ClickBank offers, any type of affiliate offers you're running. This same strategy is going to work. You're going to export, and you're going to find all of the branded keywords that you're allowed to bid on, and you're going to use those. Next, number three is the strategy of finding buyer intent Keywords. These are the hot keywords, okay? These are the ones that you want to use in your campaign. And how do you find those? Well, this is a really cool trick that I've been using recently. And you might have heard of Jasper. There's a link down in the description for 10,000 free Jasper credits if you go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash Jasper. And one of the cool things they have here is called chat. Now, you might have heard of chat GPT. Of course, you've probably heard of it if you're any if type of marketer online. But ChatGPT, I find, uh, doesn't have as much capacity as Jasper, believe it or not. But of course, ChatGPT is learning a lot right now and it is beta, so I'm sure it'll out surpass Jasper at some point. But I've been using Jasper a lot for my marketing objectives. And basically, they have a chat feature here and it compiles a lot of information from many multiple different sources and it also spits out 100 percent original ideas so i've been using a lot using it a lot for my marketing so let's come in here and type in give me a list of 20 commercial intent keywords and let me just fix the spelling here and let's see what it spits out for us <clears throat> when i do this and here we go. So here's a list of 20 commercial intent keywords. Buy Noom, purchase Noom, shop, order, compare prices, get discounts, sale. These are all keywords that people use in their search that identifies them as a potential buyer. So some of these won't be relevant for Noom, but some of them certainly are like discount codes, best deals, get discount. All of these things are things you can use in your keywords. Now, another tool you can use as well, and you can play around with this obviously on Jasper and try different things, um, see what it spits out. And you can also try the free version of ChatGPT and see if it also has the capability of doing the same thing. Now with Jasper, you can certainly do other things like templates here that write blog posts and all of that stuff. But of course, there are different options out there, so check them out online. Now on SEM Rush, you can also use the keyword tool, which is over here, the keyword magic tool. 
So if I come into SEM Russia and I type in Noom weight loss, you'll see here that it's it sorts out all of the keywords here. Now this is typically used for search engine optimization. However, you can see here it does show you the intent of some of these keywords. And if you want to filter all commercial keywords, you certainly can by coming up to the filters here and doing that if you want to use the advanced filters. However, I'm just going to show you an example here. You can see all of these are exactly what we're looking for, which are the commercial intent keywords. So what I would be doing is doing a separate ad group, again, for the by, uh, branded buyer intent keywords, as well as different buyer intent keywords for non-branded keywords. And that would be in a separate ad group as well, or a separate campaign, depending on how you want to do this. Now, another tool you can certainly use is the Google Ads keyword tool. Now, this is free. And when you come into your Google Ads account, you'll see here, you can click up on tools and you can go to keyword planner. You can certainly use this as well to help you find even more ideas for keywords. So if I type in Noom weight loss here, you'll see that I can get as much information as I want, depending on what country. I'll just select none for now. And let's see what kind of results we get here from the keyword planner. <clears throat> you can see that it shows me the average monthly searches, kind of similar to what uh, SEM Rush has, but SEM Rush pulls from other databases as well. And you can see that there are a bunch of different ideas here. But I really like the uh, SEM Rush version because it gives me more filters and more ideas. Plus, I can see the ads of my competitors. So the last one, number four, what other strategy do I use to test keywords when I'm first starting out? I use different angles. So for example, back inside Jasper or any type of AI tool, you can type in uh, weight loss angles. Give me, give me 10 different weight loss advertising angles. And you can start looking for different ways to pitch the idea and you can start clustering keywords into that. So for example, here's some different headlines you could use and you can use this for headlines and ad copy and all that stuff. Now these are different ways to kind of come up with ideas on what might be a good topic. Shedding pounds, so losing weight obviously, reaching your goals or your weight goals, transforming a body. So you could look for ideas in that cluster of keywords. Um, you could use this type of marketing approach where you're trying to get more energy and you're trying to motivate people towards meeting goals and stuff. So it's not just about losing weight, but it's about gaining energy, um, maybe better sleep patterns. These are all angles on how you can pitch these offers. And by doing different angles, you're kind of separating yourself from the typical affiliates that are just gonna come in and find these keywords that everyone else is using. They're not really coming up with ideas of their own and different angles. And when you start testing different angles, you're gonna find that you're gonna start increasing your, your conversion rates. Um, lose weight without exercise, okay? So that's a classic. That is a big angle that a lot of people are using. Eating habits, so you could you could talk about you know healthy diets and all of that kind of stuff and all of these things. Okay, improve your men mentality or maybe even your mind and all of that kind of stuff. So these are ideas you can find, and you can also certainly search in here for different questions that people are asking. So when you're creating your your landing pages for these keywords, you can start answering some of these questions that you find. Another cool tool that I found earlier was the um, answerthepublic.com. You type in Noom weight loss, it'll spit out a whole bunch of different questions that people are asking about Noom weight loss. These are all different angles that you could potentially use or potential keywords and things that you'll put on your landing page when you're starting to test out new keywords. So hopefully that video has helped you in kind of getting ideas on where to find keywords and how to cluster keywords into certain ad groups and campaigns when you're first testing out. Um, there's a whole bunch of other strategies on how to bid, how to set your match types, all of that stuff covered in the course down in the description. Make sure you check out that link down below. Subscribe to my channel and hopefully you enjoyed that video and we'll see you in the next video coming up soon. Thanks for watching.